Chef Buck here and today I'm going to cook up a collard green side dish. Super easy recipe. We've been using more frozen vegetables this year because we only go to the grocery store maybe twice a month, you know, ideally. So we get a lot of fresh greens and vegetables while we're there, but it usually doesn't last. Those fresh greens usually don't last till the next trip to the store. So we've been buying some frozen greens so we're not eating exclusively meat and cookies. So first things first, we'll get our pot heated up and I'm going to put it on medium heat. I'm going to get me a little bit of oil heated up and I usually buy the chopped collards because I'm a big fan of spinach and this is sort of spinachy-esque, but it's different nutrients. You know, they're kind of a sweeter green. And this recipe is great because you don't even have to thaw the collards. No, these are frozen. You know, I just pulled these wackadoodle right out of the freezer. You know these. These collards are still as cold as Camera Girl's heart. So I think my oil is heated up and I've got too much oil in here, but that's okay. We'll live through it. And I've got just one onion chopped up and I've cut it up. You know, I cut half of it up kind of finely and then I left one half of it in big chunks. But I get my onion coated in oil. And we'll go ahead and give these a few minutes head start. So now I'm going to throw in a little finely chopped garlic. I'm so surprised, Buck. That was a lot of garlic. Shocker. Now, if you wanted to, you could add some dried seasoning in here right now. If you wanted to add some more garlic powder or some paprika, a little bit of Italian seasoning, whatever flavors you like. But I'm just going to keep this simple today with just a little bit of salt and pepper. A little uh, pink Himalayan salt. And then I got a little, instead of black pepper, I'm gonna put a little cayenne pepper in here because I like some heat with my collards. But I'm kind of taking it easy on the seasoning because I'm gonna be adding a little bit of these later on, some Worcestershire sauce and a little vinegar and that's gonna add a lot of flavor too. So we've given our onions a little bit of a head start and now I'm gonna throw my frozen greens in there. I guess I could have used a bigger pot, but math was never my strong suit. So now I'm going to put a little bit of water in my bag here so that I can get all of the greens out of there. So I'm going to end up adding about a cup of water. So I'll get my greens and onion mixture mixed up and I've still got it on medium heat, but I'm going to go ahead and cover it up and let it come to a boil. My pot's come up to a little bit of a bubble here and I really just got barely enough water in here to cover it up because I like my greens kind of on the dry side. So I'm going to cook a lot of this moisture out of here eventually. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave it covered and reduce it down to low and let it cook away. Beep, 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 beep. So it's been about 15 minutes and it looks like there's more water in here than when I started because these greens and onions hold a lot of water. So it's gonna release that water. So I like to take it easy. I don't like to add too much water to start. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a stir around here and then I'm gonna let it continue to simmer away uncovered for about five more minutes and then we're gonna add a few more ingredients in here. But I'll let a little of this water cook off first. Beep, 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 beep. So it's been bubbling away for about five minutes cooking some of that water off. And I think I got about another 10 or 15 minutes left to cook these greens. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more ingredients here. So I'm gonna add me a little vinegar in here and I'm gonna add a rice vinegar, which is kind of a mild vinegar, but you can use whatever you like. Boom, boom, boom. Vinegar and greens go together, but we're gonna add a little more vinegar right here in the form of Worcestershire sauce, which is a great flavor, but it is mostly vinegar. And I'm gonna put that much in. So I'll just stir these flavors around. And I've got the pot like I'm medium low right now. You know, vinegar and greens is such a great flavor, but you can add whatever flavors you like. You know, early on in this dish, you know, when I had first put the oil in there, you know, one of the things I like to do is add some seeds you know, to get some flavors going there. You can add all kinds of seasoning. Or if you like, you can add a little bit of meat like a lot of times if you've got some leftover sausage, bacon, or ham, you can add that early on in the dish to add a little bit of meaty texture and flavor, which a lot of people like with greens. But this is a vegetarian version, 
but there is no wrong version of green. Although I'll eventually make one. Now a lot of people like their greens wet, wet, wet. If that's the case, then we would almost be ready right here. But I like mine dry, dry, dry. Cause you know, I grew up in the seventies, you know, the dry look was my thing. Ugh. Greens ain't dry. But we'll let these greens percolate until the liquid cooks off a little bit more. Beep, 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 beep. Alrighty, so that's it. It's been about another 10 minutes cooking time. But you just want to cook it until it gets to the uh, consistency that you like. I think I've cooked off enough liquid there. Greens aren't dry. Well, I mean, they're not dry, dry, but they're, this is kind of dry for greens. What I don't like is when you go to spoon your greens onto your plate and it's like you're ladling soup onto your plate. I don't like that because I don't want my greens to suddenly, you know, become my, my plate to become a flood zone, you know, with collard green juice. And I'll give it a little taste here to see if I want to add some more salt or pepper or anything. And that's good enough for me. I think camera girl might want to probably add a little bit more salt to hers, but it's salty enough for me because I'm, I'm a middle-aged man. You got to learn to live with a little less salt, but you could definitely add a lot more seasoning to this, or you could kind of keep it simple the way I did with this dish. Now this isn't Southern style greens because we'd have to throw a ham hock in there. Ham hock. Get a good shot of that. Come on there close. Look at that. Oh, oops. Well, that's it. Frozen collard greens, you know. If you need some veggies, just keep uh, some frozen greens in the freezer and you'll have a nice side dish for all kinds of stuff. If you want to check this recipe out, you know, I'll have it written down below or you can head over to myfoodchannel.com and check out all our recipes over there. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thumbs up, being a nice person, and we'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye. This is my new signature way. How's it working?